you switch on a computer or a mobile phone, the operating system is loaded. This might be Windows, iOS, Linux, Android, or one of many others. The operating system is needed to manage the running of software and the handling of hardware. Once it's loaded, all of your desktop settings are retrieved and the operating system will set up your device just the way you like it. But there is a problem here. If the operating system is needed to run software, what is it that manages the loading of the operating system in the first place? Well, this is where the ROM comes in. Your device has to have information about its configuration stored, ready to be applied when it is switched on. It also has to have a set of basic instructions that will read the operating system files from the default device and execute them. In other words, something has to be able to boot up the device. This is the term used to describe the process of getting the operating system up and running. It comes from the phrase to bootstrap something or to pull up by one's bootstraps, which is to get it to start up from its own without outside help. And it is the ROM which enables this to happen. Stored in ROM is basic information about your device, such as where the operating system is stored and the BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. And it is a very simple set of instructions that will read files from a disk drive, run them and give the user the most basic feedback on the screen as it does so. Once the operating system has been loaded, it will take over the management of your hardware and software. At this point, the device has finished booting up. But what is ROM? Well, ROM is a memory chip that lives on the motherboard along with many other chips. The key thing about this memory chip though is that it stores information and the BIOS and retains this information after the device has been switched off. Most computer chips on the motherboard are volatile. In other words, anything stored by them can be erased or replaced and everything in them is lost when the device is powered down or switched off. ROM is different though. It is essential that the information stored in ROM is never lost or replaced throughout the life of the device. Otherwise, there will be no way of booting it up, that is, starting it without any outside input. Therefore, ROM is non-volatile memory. It cannot be erased or written over. And this is where its name comes from. ROM stands for read-only memory. The information that is stored in ROM cannot be changed and is not lost when the device is switched off.